hello libra how are you guys i hope everyone is doing great thank you so much for joining me and welcome so we're gonna go ahead and do the last week here of um uh, august see what the energies are for this week we have a lot of planets in the sign of virgo so it's mostly about being practical finishing those projects uh taking care of your physical health looking you know paying attention to details so let's see and then also your season is coming here as well by the end of uh, September. So let's see, this week, it's a very general reading, guys. Whatever message is coming through that you need to hear. Again, 27th of August through the 1st. End of summer. Let's see, what does Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know from the 27th of August through the 1st of September? If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please see the description box below. One more for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, 26 August through the 1st of September. Wow, judgment, early turn. Second chances, rebirth here, renewal, renewal energy. Someone may be coming back for some of you, but for others, it's just having this um, epiphany or uh, type of transformation here. Let's see. That's a very beautiful card. Let's see what's going on. All right. So what is the question here that you have in mind? What's the situation? The king of pentacles. So this may be you or someone else that you are attracting here with the king of pentacles. We're talking about someone that is very grounded. Virgo, Taurus, um, or Capricorn energy. They don't have to be. It can be any earth sign. But again, this is in your mind or this is how you are approaching the situation it, it can be also about financial uh, financially successful here someone that also has this earthy raw uh, aura around them let's see what is the situation here okay a new beginning with this person that is a challenge here take a leap of faith trust the process Some of you hoping that there's going to be a return, a new beginning. Okay. All right. So at the foundation of all of this, we have the four of one. So we're talking about success, engagement, honeymoon for some of the, your reunion. Getting to that next step. For the ones that have been especially in a relationship here, once your intentions ha has been set, now you want to get to the next step. Again, it may be about engagement or a successful situation because this, to me, both can be with the King of Pentacles. There's something that a long-term goals. Again, being practical, looking at things financially. But it's all about that new start, that new beginning, taking a leap of faith here. Recent past. By the way, beautiful car, uh, cards. Let's hope it continues like this. Uh, in the recent past, another major arcana here. It was the magician. So there were manifestation, connection here as well uh, on a mental um, level with someone else. Communicating, manifesting this. Knowing that there's this ab ability for, you, for success as well for this person and you to be together. It's like a connection with that Mercury there. What, what are you hoping for? Transition. With the Six of Swords, leaving conflict behind, a journey, moving toward better situation here. You are ready to transition, smooth sailing into the King of Pentacles here. If we're talking into uh, connecting with this person, again, we have the Four of Wands, engagement, success. But as well, it's something that you manifested and now you want it to be, uh, you know, to take off. Seven of Cups is approaching you guys. And this has been even before. We have Venus in Scorpio. So there's a lot of possibilities with Venus in Scorpio. But remember, it's very intense. There's certain, uh, with the Venus in Scorpio, it doesn't compromise when it comes to, you know, the desires in how they love. And again, as I mentioned before, Venus in Scorpio loves intensively. And this is the energy. You have to decide in, with this always, I say fantasy versus reality. 
what is practical and it may be with so many um, planets in Virgo maybe you realize something there's this sobering up okay this is what you know it has to be but a lot of possibilities a lot of uh, emotions coming through all right so here we have the moon in libra this is how you are at the moment at crossroads though you are trying to move on here move on from someone or move on to a better situation again the obstacle is that um, new beginning starting from zero giving it a chance taking a leap of faith there so what do we have on your environment six of wands so this is uh your exterior you know people that surround you maybe someone that you know is outside of you as well here but not very near but with a six of wands someone wants to be victorious again it may be that they're asking for attention there's a lot of admiration here a lot of pride being in the spotlight but that's the energy that surrounds you i need you know this victory i need uh, this recognition it may be about again a successful situation or a person this is how your hopes and fears are and it's beautiful libra uh, with the temperance here it's you're working toward uh, a situation here trying to make it work balancing it trying to make something uh, out of the situation create a new element totally with this one fire and water and emo emotions and passion but this is uh, the alchemist wow okay expectations are set this is a possible outcome the wheel starting here to move ships coming ashore and remember this is at the root of all of this this is what you were trying to accomplish with this success engagement goal reunion with someone someone that again you feel very strongly very passionate it can be again about because it is general it can be about anything that you set your intentions but we have the three of wands here which is leading to the four of wands which is leading to this success so let's clarify a little bit very very beautiful nothing here you know overall we have at the, at the bottom here we did have the judgment which is again about a rebirth reincarnation uh second chances someone from the past coming in we're talking about last as well in this situation something that you have been burdened with this you have been caring for some time so let's clarify the cards a little bit more and see if we can get a but whatever these options that are coming to you with the venus on, uh, in scorpio or again the seven of cups here these possibilities in the end with this outcome here is that you decide you're preparing yourself for what's to come all right so let's see let's clarify all the cards for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more. There's some regrets here. Someone missing you or you missing them. With the Five of Cups. Judgment again. Okay, so I feel like there's a return with this person. Again, it doesn't have to be an earth sign. This is how they're coming uh, or being portrayed here in this reading. They can be or not. But that's the return here with this person. Again, it can be a success, a return of success for some of you, depending uh, what's the question or why are you watching the reading. But uh, a, a comeback. There, there's been an opportunity here. That's how they feel or that's how you're feeling here. Oh, the devil. So with that... Um, <laughs> With the fool there, you want to take a leap of faith, but something is stopping you guys. And we did have that last, uh, you know, the, the last thing some, after someone, the strength card here. So that's what you're deciding. Do I take this leap of faith? Something here that you really, really, I feel like desire. Because, again, we have that Venus in Scorpio. I feel like this desire. All right, page of one. So there have been news here of a reunion between the two of you. An opportunity here for you guys to be together again. Engagement or have the opportunity to have this reunion. 
the tower okay so something in the recent past something got revealed there was a realization here again with the mercury and the tower we may be talking about communication or a realization of what it could be what is possible with you, uh, you two someone with the tower always is something very sudden it can be a thought or it can be something changed here that now you are aware of different things of new things you or them depending again the three of cups yeah you're trying to move on toward this uh, three of cups reunion celebrations uh friends getting together it's the mercury in cancer so we're definitely something that nurtures you that you feel very very uh emotional towards you have a lot of feelings toward this person again or a situation but we're talking about success and reunions and um a connection there may be something you know that you cannot help yourself how you feel some of you may be breaking from a codependency with the devil there and starting something new something successful you may be another person all right ten of cups wow venus in scorpio ten of cups you uh have a certain uh opportunities that are coming toward uh, you and it's very beautiful now remember i have to say because Ten of Cups and Seven of Cups. We're talking about possibilities and uh, this beautiful, you know, content, happy ending here. But because we're talking about feelings, you have to realize is this energy that is approaching you, is it uh, tangible? Is it something that is doable? Because with the Virgo elements during this season and for the rest of the week, you have, uh, you know, to be practical as well of, around this energy that is coming towards you. But you are going to feel very happy. This is what I dreamed. This is what I wanted. I like starting to, to feel that things are falling into place for you. The high priestess. So there's with you feeling with the moon in Libra at crossroads here and the high priestess. Again, there's something here, an awareness, a knowledge that you have. It may be a secret um, knowledge for some of you or something that is going. Um, it's a secret. It's not something that is out in the open with the high priestess. You're going back and forth though something needs to be revealed or not this may be also you following your intuition or not with that yeah there's someone here that wants to approach you from the outside or again a new adventure uh with the ace of wands we may be talking about a career for some of you if it is love this person is trying to get your attention queen of swords so in your in your hopes and fear here it's like you are trying to and i can understand with uh, the devil there and the last you are trying to practice moderation with the queen of swords you can be a little bit um, detached or trying to not let your emotions get in, um, the best of you you're trying to be practical as balanced uh, as well wow the moon okay so with the three of wands and the moon here things are coming into place Maybe something gets revealed. Finally. It's come to, to think that it's time to reveal this situation. Uh, again, remember you had the high priestess and you have uh, the moon here. I want to clarify before. Why is the three of wands and the moon here? Queen of Cups and Four of Cups. Okay, so I feel um, this is an emotional situation, something that you've been waiting for some time. Four of Cups, something that uh, if you have been lingering or being discontent or dissatisfied, finally, you know, you're following your emotions here, your intuition. So again, you're preparing uh, internally here, emotionally for what is uh, approaching you. I think you're getting, uh, again, with if you have been feeling down, finally, you know, you get this emotional balance towards you. We have a lot of water as well in this reading uh, for you guys. But I feel by the end of this week, you are going to be able to set things straight. Or again, the wheel of intentions is starting here. You're, you're focusing here on what you want to achieve. Because there's a lot of uh, opportunities that are coming. Especially again, I say emotionally because that's why uh, when it comes to your feelings... Um, connection with someone as well you are able to um to pursue that with the wands we're talking about action fire as as well and 
feelings and emotions with all of these uh, water elements here but that's overall the energies uh for this week guys uh let me know if it does resonate with you i appreciate you guys support and i'll see you next time bye bye